The Long Beach Coalition of Nine Local Progressive Groups held a press conference outside of City Hall on Tuesday, June the 22nd, 2021. They wanted the 2021 city budget to fund programs to advance racial equality, affordable housing, language access, immigrant rights by defunding the police. The city is preparing a draft budget to be adopted by October the 21st. The People's Budget proposal included nine areas of focus. You should invest in community-led crisis response, violence reduction, and prevention strategies that are unrelated to policing, specifically the alternative emergency response team called for in the city's racial equity and reconciliation report, provide reparations to black African American, black and African American people as well as victims and their families of racial profiling and police violence prominent during the war on drugs and mass incarceration errors prioritize black business ownership, particularly and specifically in the cannabis industry, making cannabis tax revenue dollars available through the Cannabis Social Equity Program and the Health Department and not to the general fund. We know that the tax dollars from cannabis policies passed here go towards the same actors who have committed the war on drugs and mass incarceration against poor people and people of color. We cannot allow for those <laughs> funds to go back to the same actors, right? We want those funds to come back to impacted communities from that harm. Increase the health department's budget for family reunification and reentry programs, black infant mortality, mental health, homelessness services, and more. Invest in black community-led residential, commercial, and recreational spaces. Two, a citywide rental housing division. Yes. Yes. Establish and structurally fund a fully staffed rental housing division with the Development Services Department to communicate with tenants and landlords. Where else do people have to go? Three, the right to counsel for all renters. Fully fund the right to counsel program to provide legal resources, outreach, and education to Long Beach renters, regardless of their immigration status, effectively reducing evictions, preventing displacement and homelessness, preserving affordable housing, and stabilizing our city and our communities. Number four, community land trust. Invest deeply in community land trust to create permanent affordable housing while allowing low-income residents to build generational wealth as homeowners and countering market-driven gentrification and displacement of my family members. <laughs> Number five, language access. Dedicate adequate staff to fully implement the city's language access policies consistently throughout the city and finally create a culture of language justice, permanently move interpretation and translation services in-house for limited English proficiency residents and provide Spanish and Khmer interpretation at all city council and charter commission meetings without having to make an advance request. Number six, youth recovery. Create an age-friendly city by boosting funding to implement the Long Beach Youth and Emerging Adult Strategic Plan to support youth, including transitional aged youth and disengaged youth. <laughs> I'm looking at Monique because she does so much with our young people in this city. Uh, increased funding for the HERO program and youth workforce development project, uh, the project labor agreement, community outreach, and youth access to physical and mental health resources and services, set aside funding for child care subsidies for a just and equitable recovery for youth and their families. Number seven, older adult protection. These are our elders. These are those whose shoulders we stand on. <laughs> 
create an age-friendly city by establishing and structurally funding the Office of Aging and the Health Department, set aside rental assistance and small business recovery funds specifically for seniors, build a new senior center, and invest in long-term care workforce development. Number eight, and then there's one more and that's it. <laughs> Universal legal representation for immigrants. Yeah. Boost funding to the Long Beach Justice Fund to provide free universal legal representation to immigrant residents facing deportation, regardless of their background. Keep families and communities together who are criminalized and targeted by over-policing and increased Im immigration enforcement. Number nine, digital inclusion. Invest in the implementation of the city's digital, digital inclusion roadmap, specifically expanding high-speed internet access in low-income, specifically in low-income and senior communities, free public Wi-Fi and free access to technology devices.